Hello, hello. Welcome to the session Secrets of Top Performance in Java Revealed. As you can see, my presentation, full presentation is visible here. I didn't manage to make it slide by slide, so the full content is here. Um, my name is Jonathan Kaczmierczak. I work as uh, a senior consultant in Trivadis in Switzerland. I do many interesting things uh, during my work and outside of working hours. Outside of working hours, I have several projects which are taking my free time. Uh, so Class Visualizer is one of them. Um, very helpful for <coughs> Java specialists. Uh, yes, I'm involved also in other one. Son of God Info, that's the website for those who like to analyze the text of four Gospels from uh, the Bible. I do more things, but we will uh, mention them a little bit later. So when I started my adventure with programming, that was 30 years ago. That was Atari 8-bit, 65XA. Uh, to get something really performant, I needed to use Assembler. That was no other performant option. Yes, the basic, which was the default choice, was not enough. When I started with PCs, 286, uh, the same. Turbo Pascal I used was quite good. Quick Basic was less quick, uh, but still, if I needed really a top performance, uh, then Assembler was the only choice. But the times changed a little bit for me. I learned C and C++ in the meantime. And then I discovered that I can write my code in C or C++ and it's highly optimized, it's compiled highly optimized to the machine code. And there is no need for me to use assembler anymore. That was, I was disappointed on the beginning, but I think at the end it's, <coughs> it's not bad, it's good. And there was, maybe still is, I think still is a belief that if your application or solution program must be really efficient performance, then you have to use C or C++. Uh, who believes in this statement? Please raise your hands. I see some hands here. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. We will, we will touch this topic a little bit, but um, actually at the end of the session. So what happened? Java appeared. Java appeared uh, first, it was um, a solution which uh, allowed to execute a platform-independent bytecode, uh, which was fine, but performance was maybe not the, the main aspect of Java. And then Java 2 appeared with great hotspot JVM, which exists until now, and that's what we are using. Uh, coming still to the performance, uh, what I'm doing in addition to programming, I'm also participating in programming competitions uh, like, for example, this hacker rank with, with some good results. Uh, yes, different so-called medals. My daughters d were demanding recently that they want to see those medals, and then I showed them on the screen and they were disappointed. <laughs> Uh, yes, also as you can see here, with Java and, and JavaScript. Um, but now, if we are talking about uh, top performance, does it mean that if we are using the right technology, let's say C++, uh, our solution will be fast? Is that a, a recipe? Let's take a look. Um, this is some training platform, Sphere Online Judge, which I was also using to improve my skills. And here there was a problem called prime generator. And uh, 
here is the list of best solutions. Uh, I should be also visible somewhere here. Aha, uh -huh, that's, that's me uh, with the time zero. That's the solution time. And here you can see many solutions in C and C++, some also in Pascal. But now, if you look what people are submitting currently, what solutions, there is one solution in C++, which is, okay, execution half second, but there are others, three and half, 1.4, time limit exceeded even, uh, okay, that's, that's Python, maybe not, no, not the best case. Here, time limit exceeded in C. So you see, the right technology, the most efficient, but still, the time is totally different than the time which, which I had, right? Zero versus three and a half, 1.4. So what is the difference? W why? Fast, slow, the same technology. Solution, algorithm. Solution is the, the key of your per performance, of your solution. And of course, if uh, you want to print hello world, most of the blog posts uh, will show you how you can nicely print hello, print hello world in many technologies, then every hello world is performant and everyone is happy. But if we come to real life uh, cases, then usually hello world example is not enough and then we are dealing with the uh, performance issues. So the solution, that's the, the, the most important secret, the secret number one. How good, how efficient is your solution? And this is a universal secret. Uh, this is valid in every language, every technology. But is that all? You have great solution, but is that all? Mm, there is something more, actually, in Java. Now we are coming to Java. Specifically, uh, there is a nice diagram, I personally like it, in one of tutorials related to, to Java and garbage collector. It shows different components of hotspot JVM and few of them in this violet color are related to performance. And if you are searching for, maybe I will make it bigger so you can, you can see the, the address. For those of you who are making photos, um, ah, <laughs> now I covered it actually, now you can see it. <laughs> um, the question is, is that all? If you search for some performance hints, you will find something around those, maybe also heap. Is that all? Maybe there is something else. Uh, there is, there is. We will be focused on this something else. There may be very good solution, but what can make difference is the library which we are using, the libraries. And to look into that a little bit deeper, I have an example here, a real life example. The example itself is um, example or problem which we want to solve is to count number of words in a, in a text file. Sorry, not number. This is very easy. Uh, frequency, the most frequent words which we can find in a text file. I will jump to this slide for a moment. Uh, here is address. If you go there, you can write your questions. At the end, we will have some Q&A. We can address the most frequent questions. We are dealing with more frequent, most frequent words. We will deal with most frequent questions at the end. So everything is good. Uh, on Linux, there is nice command, uh, WC, but it doesn't mean that we are going to the toilet. We want to, to count this word counter, word count. Um, and I have an example. Sample text is a text of the whole Bible number of bytes or characters, which is 4.3 millions, number of words, which is 825,000 plus, and number of lines, 84 and half thousand plus. So 
What do you think? Is it a good example to, to test the performance? <laughs> okay, uh, that's the biggest text which I could find easily. Maybe if I would dig more, I would find something bigger. So uh, we will deal with this one. Now, there is a solution which we can see in class visualizer. Uh, here we see the actually the classes and interfaces. So calcula calculator, the interface here, is the one which is implemented by few sol implementations. It's actually the same, exactly the same solution. This version uses uh, library from Java 2. So Java standard library at this state, which was in version 2. Then Java 7, standard library version 7, then version 8 and 8 parallel or concurrent. So we will take a look at four different implementations and their performance. Now, all the implementations, they are implementing the same interface and the interface defines three steps, which we will do. Extract words is the first step, path to the file as an input and collection of strings, words as an output. Then next, second step, count words, the result from previous step as an input and map word and the counter as the output. And then the third step uh, takes the map total word count and limit. We don't want to see all the words from the file. We want to see some most frequent ones. In this case, will be top 15. That's about the interface. Now we will take a look into first implementation. Implementation in Java 2. Actually, the language constructs, as you can see, I'm using generics or uh, try with resource. Uh, the language constructs are from later versions, but the library is from version two. So what happens here? How is it implemented? List of words, that's the output or result. It's initialized. As you can see here, four kilo, that's the uh, default buffer size in Java libraries if we have no idea if you are dealing with small amounts of data or the big ones. Uh, and uh, it's always good practice to initialize uh, collection or container which is backed by Ri because by default there is only 16 positions and we expect much more. So that's valid for array list, for string builder, for hash map, and so on. File reader to read the file wrapped in uh, into buffer reader. Then we read lines one by one. Each line we wrap or pack to string tokenizer. Then we get the elements one by one and we add it to the resulting array, uh, array list. Then we are taking it in next step. Here we have hash map. Again, I have already some clue about the size of my, of my hash map. I am taking word one by one and my counters, I am incrementing them. Good. Then the third step, I'm taking the calculated counters from the previous step. I take them actually as entry set. I wrap them into array list. Then with this array list, I make a sorting. I sort it from the most, most frequent words to the least frequent. And then at the end, 
I'm taking the, the limit and create uh, word frequencies for the most frequent words. That's the solution uh, and implementation in Java 2. Let's take a look into uh, a little bit of performance statistics. We can run it. Uh, I here I have the application. It's built with Gradle. By the way, this application is, or this example, is available on GitHub. Here is it. GitHub, then my name and word frequency calculator. There is also an instruction how to build it and how to repeat all the steps uh, which we are doing here. Uh, actually, everything what is here, you can do your own experiments on your laptop. Um, I have to provide uh, implementation which I want to use and the text file. So, calculator J2 with the text from the Bible. Here we are. Number of considered words, number of unique words. Here we see the most frequent words and the times. Total processing time in milliseconds, time of extract words, the first step, time of uh, count words, the second step, and the third step, get most frequent words. 300 milliseconds. Do you think it's a good time? Are you happy with it? Who is happy with the time? Maybe you can raise your hand. Oh, I see a good number of hands, that's great. Uh, can we do something to be a little bit faster? Just with this one solution. Yes, we can. And if we run this solution more times, uh, just for me to be sure that we all see it well, is there anyone, anybody who cannot read the text? No, that's good. Uh, I run it now 11 times in the loop and here we are. The time is becoming shorter and shorter and uh, finally we reached more or less half of the execution time. And what is that? Uh, that's the very important element which was mentioned here. It's a JIT compiler, but it, this is a little bit simplified picture because in fact we have two JIT compilers which are relevant and the second one is uh, we have two implementations of it. So to be more specific, we have on the beginning here is the uh, execution of the bytecode and the tier 3 takes place, tier 3 of uh, JIT compiler, which is called C1, and the role of C1 is it identifies hotspots, methods which are frequently invoked, takes the method, bytecode, produces machine code. Very fast, very efficient, and gives already good results. But that's not all. Uh, C1 was already active here in the first execution, but then the statistics are collected about each method, input parameters, what are the real types, what are the uh, nullabilities, are they nulls or not, what are the uh, results, do we have any nulls, for example, and C2, which is the tier 4 compiler, takes all of those statistics into consideration and generates highly optimized uh, machine code. And there is actually replacement also available. C2 is the default compiler, but we have also Graal, which is available since Java 9. Then we reach a very good time. So many of you were already happy with uh, 300 milliseconds, but we were able to make it even faster. So here we have some visual representation that the Initial execution means Java bytecode with JIT compiled code in tier 3, means C1. And here we are with JIT compiled code in tier 4. 
the, the same values which we saw on the, on the screen. Now, that was Java 2 more than 20 years ago. Uh, the time is moving forward. Java 7 appeared at some point. In Java 7, we have NIO, initially was called new IO, later rebranded to non-blocking IO. So here, I'm creating a bu buffer reader in different way, uh, and I'm using also scanner here. So I don't process everything line by line. Now with scanner, I'm thinking word by word. That's one difference, and second difference is that I am using atomic integer instead of integer. And what is the reason? Is that I created once per word. So I have to store it only once, and later I'm only incrementing it. Just two uh, small changes, everything up to date at that time, at time of Java 7. And Let's see, how are we going with the time? Here we are. More than two times fast, uh, slower with Java 7. NIO is in use here. Uh, when we look into words extraction, you can notice we are three times slower. Uh, by the way, all of those statistics are taken on my machine. It was set correctly to the performance mode, and I'm using Linux. So that's the system which will be on your servers, most likely. Usually it's Linux. Uh, but here is a little bit of gain, and even not bad, with count words, yes, with my optimization, atomic integer. But here we are a little bit slower, actually, with this sorting, slightly slower when we are using atomic integer versus integer. Now, where is the problem? Uh, why here we are so bad? The problem is mainly with scanner. Uh, new I.O. is is not worse uh, in most cases than old good I.O. Uh, it's also not better, but at least don't harm usually. But this one, scanner, that's, uh, that's the one, the guilty one. Yes, it uses regular expressions and internally to extract words and it really affects the performance of the solution. And here we are with the uh, highly optimized code, optimized entire 4 by C2. Interesting thing is that this, um, especially this element, cannot be well optimized. I don't know why, but just it cannot. This one, the reduction of the time is very good, but here from 613 to 445 is not a big difference. Interesting other aspect is that my improvement, which I introduced, brings me almost nothing. So. Uh, after high optimizations, I thought I will maybe avoid uh, some of the searches in map, but in fact, it's no big difference. The same here. Interestingly, the solution which was slightly slower here is now slightly faster with Java 7. But generally, the whole solution is, is much, much slower. Then the time goes on. Java 8 arrived. How would we implement the same solution in Java 8? Oh, we, can, we can use the new features. They are no more new. They were new several years ago. Uh, streams. And uh, here there is a new, at that time, or added method in files. Yes, processing line by line, giving us stream of, of lines. Then the line is split with exactly the same regular expression which is used by scanner internally. Then here I make a flat map to have a stream of words. And as before, filtering um, to lowercase and at the end collection to list. 
count words became much simpler, at least in implementation, in reading, not necessarily in writing. I collect grouping by and we are taking words and for each word we are counting it once. Then the third step, word counts and reset stream, sorted. We have now a comparator in map entry so we can compare by value in reversed order and then limit mapping to word frequency and at the end collection to list. Now we have a nice new solution or new implementation, the same solution but new implementation. The question is will we be faster? Uh, let's say faster than Java 7 solution. What do you think? Will we be faster than Java 7? Okay, it's quite, I think, division between yes and no. And uh, will we be faster than Java 2 solution? Okay, here I see very few hands. Yes, either one or two. So about Java 7, there you are divided. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, with Java 2, you are rather convinced that we will not meet the performance. Okay, let's see. Here we are. Java 8, where are we slower? Everywhere. Slightly slower, reading of the file. Uh, slower, counting of the words, operation on the map. Uh, and also the sorting and trans transforming to the, to the word frequency. But what happens after high optimization of our code. Here we are. Change, right? We are significantly faster overall than Java 7 solution. The code is also uh, much better optimized. So here from 764, we reduced here. So more than two times faster. So C2 compiler did a very good job for us. Mm, here is a big improvement, definitely, with reading of the file. So those of you, actually all of you, who you were convinced that we will not meet the performance of Java 2, you were absolutely right. We, no way, we cannot. But Java 7, as you can see, initially we are slower, but after high optimization, we can be faster. Here, uh, with counting of the words, operations of the on the map, we are still slower, some 20% almost from the, from the fastest solution. But interestingly, here, we met the performance of Java 2. That's, uh, that was uh, also surprising for me, but it's very positive. So the solution can be really on implementation, with Java 8 can be very well optimized. Now, we are still moving forward to parallel solution. The good things which we heard about streams is that we can parallelize the solutions in very easy way. So we have to make streams parallel, but in most cases that's not yet enough. They have to be also unordered. So now all my streams are parallel and unordered. The same in the other steps. And uh, the other change is here, grouping by concurrent. Good. Now, what about time? What do you think? Uh, do you think that the Parallel solution will be faster than single thread solution in Java 8. Who thinks it will be faster? Okay, there is a good number of uh, hands and a good comment. Depends on how much uh, CPU cores do I have. So just to answer the question, four cores uh, virtual, uh, two real cores. So with hyper-threading is four. 
Okay, so my impression is that uh, more or less there was division half-half between will we be faster or slower. Let's take a look into the results. Here we are. We are actually slowest with the parallel execution. Where are we slowest? Let's take a look. Reading of the file, slowest. But take a look at this one. You see, two and a half times slower than a single threaded counting of the, uh, of the occurrences. And then here as well, almost two times slower than the single threaded solution sorting. But what happens after very high optimization by C2 JIT compiler? Here we are. Everything looks a little bit better. We are slightly faster than Java 8 single threaded solution. <coughs> we here we are slightly faster with reading, not big difference, but still. We are actually fastest with the calculation of the word occurrences. And we are also fastest with sorting. So after as time is going on and C2 compiler is making more and more optimizations, as you can see, it can be really, really very well optimized, but not from the beginning. Um, now, that was about Java. Okay, we, we saw four implementations of the, same implement of the same solution in Java, but what about C++? Now, uh, can we meet the performance of C++ in Java? What do you think? Who thinks that we can be as performant in Java as in C++? Okay, there is a good number of hands. That's great. Uh, we can see the... By the way, there is a solution in C++ available in the repo. If there will be question about that, we can also take a look and discuss it. But let's take a look at the numbers. So here we are, we are executing of the code which is not yet highly optimized, so no surprise that C++ is much faster. But mm, here we are, highly optimized code on both sides. C++, Java 2. Look, we can be faster. That's, that's great. And where are we faster? Here, reading of the, of the file and collection extraction of words. And that's interesting because uh, C++ is famous for uh, the performance of the I.O. And still, it is possible to get better performance in Java doing the same thing. But how is it with the other steps? Counting words, we are fastest. No match for C++, right? Everything is slower. And the same here, sorting. C++ is really the, the winner. But overall, as you can see here, we can be even better than C and C++. Uh, but yes, <laughs> as you can see using Java 2, it was possible, but not using li library features introduced in later versions of Java. Now, what, what did we discover? Let's summarize it. I have a few more statistics. Uh, we'll see how much we can, we can uh, discuss. It depends a little bit on my time as well. But what we discussed so far. So first, first secret of the top performance in Java is your solution. How good is it designed? how efficient it is. And this is universal secret. It is valid in every 
language and every technology. But that is now something more specific to Java. One point is how complex are your libraries which we are which you are using or which I am using. So Java 8 and Java 8 parallel concurrent execution, they bring quite significant complexity, which cannot be overlooked if the program is not yet fully optimized. So the program which has relatively short lifetime, um, yes, this is this can be even critical. If it's long running application, then it's still important actually how good is the, the library, how well is it written, is it uh, written in that way that it can be highly optimized. Because as you can see, the Java 7 uh, library actually NIO for some reasons cannot be well optimized while other functionalities can be. So the second very important point is choosing of the libraries. And then we come to, which do to the other point which is coming all the time is the just-in-time compiler which does a, a great job. And this may be good to know that we have not only just-in-time compiler, we have also possibility to use ahead of time compilation. And I, uh -huh, there is also something else which I used. I changed the Tire 4 compiler to Graal and I took a look what is the difference. And it's maybe not very easy to notice everything when I'm swapping the charts, but you can see that the J2 solution from 154 decreased, so it's faster. J J7 from 501 increased, is slower. Java 8 single threaded increased, slower. And Java 8 parallel is also slightly slower. So my colleagues which are working on, on Graal compiler, they are doing a great job. Uh, but it's still relatively new compiler, so there are still some possibilities to, to improve. And then I did another text, uh, test. I made AOT compilation with a native image tool, which is part of GraalVM package. And uh, you can see that Maybe it's not very straightforward to see because I would need to jump a little bit more. But J2 and J8, they are faster when I start to execute it, when I want to process the words just once. J7 is slower and this one, the concurrent one, is, is let's say, currently a little bit out of range. And this is some feature which is uh, currently still missing. Um, but it's under construction. Uh, my colleagues are working hard to bring to bring this feature to the uh, to the native image compiler and SVM substrate VM the virtual machine which executes the code uh, which is compiled by uh, AOT compiled code. Uh, maybe you heard already about this package, uh, so make sure that you do some test before you decide what you want to use. The same about every library also is worth to test. And uh, the good way to do some tests is to include stopwatch in your code. This is something what uh, I'm doing in this, uh, in all of those solutions. So I was able to, to collect all of those numbers and also to collect them for the charts. Uh, there are plenty of libraries providing some variants of stopwatch. Uh, very helpful to also diagnose uh, performance issues. I also did a, a picture showing different sizes of the bytecode. So each implementation, how big is the 
compiled byte because there is also some uh, some correlation between the bytecode size and the and the execution, but it's not always so obvious. I think uh, now would be good to look into the questions which appeared. Uh, so they, I would expect them to be somehow ordered. Okay, they they, they are. Could you explain what has been optimized by JITS? Uh, okay, they are. <laughs> Did you look at and compare code generated by the JIT compiler? I didn't do that, but we can do uh, and okay. <laughs> so that was the one which I read. Uh, you can do that. They are, sometimes when I'm playing with those things, the one which is very useful is this option, print compilation, and you can see all the methods compiled, and you see the, the tire, three or four, which are relevant for us. And there is another one, which is called, if I remember correctly, print assembly. Uh, aha, it requires, it's just a diagnostic option. So I have to unlock it. And it is supposed to print assembly, but but I don't see it. <laughs> Sorry? I didn't? This assembly plan, okay. So, uh, but I didn't take a look into, into uh, um, this particular code. <laughs> is in Swiss, Swiss Dutch, Gritzy, Gritzy. That's how we are greeting each other. Uh, then, what has been optimized by Jitsi two in your Java Seven solution? Yeah, how streams could be optimized by compiler? Mm, in Java Seven, there were um, no streams, but I assume it's about I.O. stream. I didn't look carefully at Java 7 solution because it was the slowest one. So I was rather more interested in Java 8 versus Java 2. Why did we use an ordered stream? Uh, I mentioned that. This is often required for the parallel functionality to really work concurrent. So parallel, it's one thing, but if the stream has to be ordered, then there are limitations about the concurrency. If it's unordered, then it means the full optimizations may take place, and for example, grouping by concurrent specifically requires this one. In other cases, it's usually not fully clear if you need it or not, unless you really try. Now, parallel streams really shouldn't be used with IO operations as they use shared for joint pool and could block wall system. Yes, I agree that they are many drawbacks. Uh, and the goal was to show the performance, right? Because we are interested in the top performance. But definitely they are drawbacks and uh, as we saw, you should really uh, think carefully if you really want to use 
de concurrency in uh, concurrent streams or parallel streams and concurrent processing. Now, this one was covered already. Now, what is the reason for Java 2 being faster than C++ in extract words? How can JIT be better than ahead of time compilation? Uh, this is a very good question. I don't know how to, uh, if I can answer it well, but what we can do, we can take a quick look at the implementation in C++. The extract words method is this one. So in there is everlasting debate in the C world if the streams are the the best the best ways to access uh, the file. And there is a debate. Some people are saying it's, it's fine, they are optimized. Some people are saying scanf is faster. Uh, since I'm dealing with string, then definitely for me it's convenient. That's the most common way of reading the file. So it's written the same way as people are writing on programming competitions and want to be really absolutely fastest. And for some reason, uh, this solution is not as optimal as, uh, as the one here. But why exactly, which, which element, I don't know. but still we can take a look into the into this picture yes so we are almost two times faster and it may be that if you try it on windows you have different proportions so this is also one point and also on mac i actually did some test with some colleague he was using mac i'm using linux and we had sometimes different proportions. Is there any, oh yes, we have. What percentage of your time is GC and disk IO? I didn't measure that. So, um, cannot say it well, but this could be done. There's no disk IO, everything is cached. Very good point, yes. A very good point. After first reading of this file, the file is kept in cache. So we don't have real. Yes, that, that, that's exactly the point. And the, the point is fully valid. We can see it if I'm using uh, this variant of time command. Then it shows me I.O. and we, we have zero, zero inputs because there was no reading directly from the disk. And uh, yes, if you would use or, or run every implementation with the time command, but this one, not the one which is part of bash, then you can see what is the real uh, user time. So of course, there are differences between, uh, between the implementations which, are, uh, which I'm running. Uh, why did you skip Java 5 example? Uh, because of the time. <laughs> it doesn't uh, bring also much. There was only one uh, change uh, from Java 2. Uh, does it mean that J8 is the worst solution for the simple tasks like counting words? If yes, then what is what it's better for? So I assume it what it is better for, for what tasks it is Suitable, so it doesn't mean that it's worse or or it w or, or that it's worst. It's worst if we um, have a short living program and not everything is yet optimized. But if everything is highly optimized, then there are cases that Java 8 is slower than Java 2. But there are cases that the, like here that differences are either minor or even there are no differences. And there is another possibility to, to use to look here into AOT compiled code, and we can see that 
uh, that the differences are between Java 8 and Java 2 after AOT compilation with uh, native image, they are also not so big. My time is over, then thank you very much for your attendance. <laughs>